Hey everybody, welcome back to Brick System Brothers. This video is about selecting a LDD file that somebody else has completed of an official LEGO set, importing that into Digital Designer, and then building off of that from there. So this is actually part of a series on Digital Designer. Um, the video before this was a general introduction to the program with our current version um, 4.3.11. So that is the most recent tutorial I've done uh, for this program, Digital Designer. And uh, yeah, I like, I like using this because it's pretty straightforward, but there are definitely other options out there. So if you'd rather look at something like Studio, check that one out. We've done that on our channel as well. So uh, yeah, just a little preface here. Uh, we did look more at the introduction side of using the program, where you can download it, um, kind of how to build with it. I did a little from scratch, a little model car in the previous video. So uh, it is a little bit long, but if you don't really know about this program, not familiar with it, I really recommend you to go back and watch that and uh, get familiar with the program. Here in this video we're going to talk about this site called Eurobricks um, and specifically the subform Digital Designer and on here uh, a lot of helpful people have actually built official LEGO models as LDD files and put them on here for the community to use, which is really cool. I didn't actually know this existed until I did a little bit of digging. On my original tutorial video for this program, I had somebody asking about importing official models as digital files, um, and that kind of got me going on a search for this kind of thing, and it turns out there's actually quite a database out here to use on this forum, Eurobricks. And uh, I wanted to talk about it on its own dedicated video because it's definitely worth mentioning and looking at. So uh, this is the main page and this is the link I will put down in the description. Uh, and from here you can look through themes that are ordered alphabetically. There's kind of four main groups here based on probably how many themes are in each group. So there's a really small group of A through C. Uh, there's just a lot of themes that have names that start with A through C. And then towards the end of the alphabet, T through Z, maybe not as many themes there. Um, but rules of the topic is a good place to start. Um, this is more for people that are contributing to the topic, probably. If you're going to build an official set and add it in, this is actually a pretty active topic. So I don't think you're going to find recent sets that are lacking. But maybe if you go back a little ways, you might find a couple gaps um, in the database. But yeah, there's a bunch of rules to look at, and then um, some statistics, uh, the last index update, and that kind of thing, like when this has been most recently done. Some of the top contributors here, this guy, Veen, has added 566 sets. If you think about it, building over 500 digital sets and adding these in with all the info, that's a lot of work. So shout out to these guys for doing this and, and making uh, this resource available to us. Um, something that's something else that you might want to look at is not indexed yet entries or the last update. These are going to be some of our really recent sets uh, available as LXF files and LXF is the kind of file that Digital Designer will open. Now, the thing about these is not all of the pieces are available in Digital Designer and this is something I talked about in the previous video. It's an unsupported program and it hasn't been updated so a lot of the recent molds from the past five or six years are actually not available to use in the program. Colors are a little bit better, but not necessarily quite up to date either. So a lot of these 2019, 2018, and 2020 sets are almost uh, probably going to be incomplete, a little bit ragtag and spotty. I think for the most part, if there's not a piece available that you want to use, in the set then they find either kind of a replacement or they just leave it off. So maybe looking at some of these down the road and what can be done about that. Um, but for today's video I have found a few older sets in the Arctic ones from the early 2000s. Uh, these are far more complete uh, most of these pieces available in Digital Designer. So in order to actually open it onto our build floor here and um, look at the modification side of things where we would actually be able to interact with the model, we have to download the LXF file. It's pretty easy to do. If you notice, uh, this is actually a hyperlink. So when you click that, it's going to open this up for you to where you can download it. Uh, I have a dedicated folder path here to put into my Lego folder. And it's going to give you the set name 
or the set number, and the file type is a digital designer LXF model file. So let's save that, um, and then I'll be able to find that later. Uh, let's choose one more set to open here. I'm going to look at another Arctic one. Let's just do this one here, 6573. Same thing, it will open this up. The suggested name is the set number, and we'll download that one as well. So now these have been downloaded onto my computer um, off of this Eurobrick site. And the link that I have put down in the description will take you guys to the kind of the home page. And then you can kind of click in from there. You can look at specific themes. So let's go find these two models and open them up with Digital Designer. File, Import Model. And we're going to have to go to my folder that I saved them in, and here they are. Uh, LXF files, let's open this one first. Two bricks could not be loaded and have been removed from the model. So a two brick error, that's not too serious. Um, it's going to give it to you unplaced. So when you open this up, you'll be able to place this, kind of click and drag wherever you want. The first model doesn't matter so much, but if you start bringing in subsequent models, that's going to make a big difference. Um, and the size of the base here is just depending on the overall dimensions of the model. So the polar bear way over here is actually adding that extra room. We can bring him in a little bit closer and, uh, and shrink this build for a little bit. But yeah, here you go. This is, uh, what model was this? Did I just download? Let's go back up. Set number 6520, Mobile Outpost. Um, a classic Arctic town set from the early 2000s. And someone has built this up in Digital Designer as completely as they could using the pieces in the system in this program. Um, if I had to guess, they probably used Extended Mode, which I've opened it in Regular. So um, this is great. I mean, uh, did not know that this was a resource until a little while ago and definitely worth talking about um, there's not too much to do with this besides just let you guys know about it uh, the other thing that I do want to mention is opening multiple completed sets so let's go ahead and do that really quick we can do the import model again let's go back to that same folder that I have this saved now we'll import 6573 this was the smaller one if you remember and now we have the same thing, except this time um, we already have this model placed, so it's going to, uh, it won't allow you to place these in the same spot. And we can turn this around with our arrow keys. Basically, it's treating this whole thing like one selected item and, uh, and just place this wherever. So I'll put it right here. And now we have both sets on the same build floor, um, all basically together now in the same model total of 337 pieces and you can continue doing this as many times as you want. We'll import another copy of this first one here and place this in as well right there. Uh, so yeah there's not really a limit as far as I can tell for the importing and if it's if it's larger than your build base then it will just extend that however far it needs to and you can really actually build up a pretty decent sized model without actually doing anything other than downloading these files and using that import tool to bring them into your build base. And now from here, if you have ideas to where you want to modify a set, um, you can actually import the set itself and then make those modifications instead of going through all the time and effort to build up the set from scratch in Digital Designer, um, you can see if it's been built on this forum here and import the set as completed it as it is. If it's, again, if it's going to be recent, there's probably going to be pieces missing. But older sets like these Arctic ones, usually pretty complete and uh, saves a lot of time for bringing those in together. So let's clean this up a little bit. Um, I don't necessarily need all these polar bears in here. And maybe these guys, I'll take these guys out. Um, let's line up these vehicles and make a little fleet. Add in that piece. Now that's all selected. Rotate this around. Line 
that one up there. This one's actually been placed at an angle. That's interesting. We can use our rotate tool to spin this around. I want to actually move this like so. And let's get rid of this little bubble, that thing. Line this one up right here. And uh, get that guy out of the way. Line this one up right here. And last but not least, these little guys on the sides. So yeah, basically, just saves you a lot of time if you have an existing Lego set that you want to bring in and work on in Digital Designer um, is what this is really useful for. So if, if you're starting from scratch with an original model, um, if it's based on a set, then yes, this option will save you a lot of time and it's really useful. Um, but if it's not really based on a set, then it's maybe not um, something that will help you out a lot. Um, again, this topic on Eurobricks has kind of restricted things to official Lego sets um, and then beyond that official instructions that are available on the Lego website so if there's a set that doesn't have available instructions that's not going to be included um, and then everyone that contributes they want them to use the official Lego instructions uh, and not do anything interpretation wise or you know add their own little flares and uh, a couple other things just to keep the site coherent so even with all those restrictions that does encompass most of the stuff most of the sets that Lego has officially produced and uh, are actually built pretty much complete up until the last several years where the pieces that have been put into production that aren't available in Lego Digital Designer when those start being used in sets, um, that's where that starts to downgrade. So let's go back and, and look at that. I'm going to save this as um, Old Arctic Fleet. Okay, um, we'll start with a new, let's open it and extend it, do a free build here. And let's go look at a recent set just to see. So something really recent would be the mail plane. Uh, I know Poe Dameron's X-Wing fighter has some really, uh, oh, that's the mini build though. Okay, uh, racing cars. Let's download this one. Right here. Ah, uh, so this is where you're gonna see uh, errors. Two times black wheel beam bearing. Uh, the pieces that aren't available in digital designer and in this case, they've they've been replaced with a compatible part, incorrecting missing prints, missing stickers. Uh, same thing with the service station. Several errors here. Um, most of the time, they're able to replace it with something that's compatible, but it is not going to be the same as the original set. Um, but yeah, really recent stuff here. The the bookshop creator expert pieces that aren't available being replaced. Let's look at this one here, the bookshop. Save that, open it up, import model. I'll go to my community right here. This will probably take a little longer. 377 bricks could not be loaded. That's a lot of pieces. We'll just place it here and see what we got. So. The Arctic ones that I loaded in, the first one had two errors, uh, the second one completely fine. This set from last year, 377 errors, uh, not really useful for opening in Digital Designer. And you can see there's a lot of gaps that are pretty apparent. The torsos that aren't um, well defined have all been removed. Um, pieces like those inverted arches and teal, the lamp post is gone. These uh, one by one by two snot bricks are all gone now. Um, so yeah, lots of errors here to note when opening recent models. 
So this is gonna this is gonna be a common theme with recent Lego sets that are available from this forum. Uh, unfortunately, just a product of this program, Digital Designer, not being updated. Uh, if you do want to edit sets digitally that are more recent, um, then there's a better option that involves using Studio. Uh, I will do a video about that. Why not? Um, I guess next up in the playlist, a video using Studio to edit these kind of sets, especially more recent ones, um, to where we can actually include the correct bricks and not have to worry about all of these errors that arise when using Lego Digital Designer. So let's go back to the home, do not save, open the old Arctic fleet. And yeah, really useful for Lego sets that are older, that most of the pieces are available in Digital Designer. And uh, yeah, just another shout out to the guys on this topic on Eurobricks for, uh, for putting this resource out there. Um, something that I didn't look for or know to look for until recently, um, having a discussion on my original tutorial video and just getting out there to find it and uh, realizing that this resource is out there to use. So highly recommend it if you are working on modifications for existing LEGO sets and if it is more of a recent set and stick around and we'll look at how to open those up in studio coming up next.